In this invention test, you will have to create a dish using a core ingredient that is loved by South Africans. We use this food item in celebrating successes and big events. It is almost always on our tables at special occasions. The first thing that came up in my mind is alcohol. I am open for something that was within my culinary talents and skills. Red meat. Oh, okay. Okay. Beef in particular. It's beef. <laughs> it has to be the star of a dish. You have to really be inventive about it. So that is a bit um, challenging. In my family, we slaughter for almost every occasion. But in particular, we slaughter a cow for big events like weddings, where it becomes a three-day eating fest. And we use the whole animal. Firstly, on the day of the slaughter, we will cook all the benechutes, like your tripe, intestines, your lungs and your livers, as a welcome dish for all our relatives coming from far. And sets the whole tone for the weekend. And on the main day, the main carcass is consumed. And on the last day, everybody that helped with the slaughtering and working during the function will then consume the head and the trotters. I'm just salivating, thinking about what you guys can come up with today with what's in the pantry. Our pantry is packed to the rafters with every conceivable cut of beef. We have everything from Woolworth's dry-aged steak on the bone, which includes T-bone, ribeye, rump. We have the rest of the steak range, fillet, sirloin, and then we have everything else. Top side, silver side, oxtail, bone marrow, tongue, burvos, biltong, every piece of the cow awaits you in the pantry today. If you think you're going to get away with steak, egg and chips today, you are sorely mistaken. You will go straight to the pressure test for that kind of thinking. Although I haven't cooked with the more exotic, expensive cuts of meat, I knew immediately what I wanted to do and, and I was good. You will have 90 minutes in which to create a dish with beef as a main hero on the plate. Your pantry run will be included in that one and a half hours, but will close after 10 minutes. The pantry will only be open for the first 10 minutes of the challenge. I wasn't sure what I was going to make, so that was kind of the worry. Right, let's get to your stations. Of course, there are 40 million options that we can do, so the brain starts ticking over time. And I think, I'm going to do this. No, 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 no. I'm going to do that. No, 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 I can't do that. The winner of this challenge will win a personalised masterclass, which will give them an advantage in the kitchen. The bottom three dishes, however, will go into a pressure test, after which someone's MasterChef dream will come to an end. I realised that I have been able to get out of two elimination challenges. What am I going to do to show that I'm really trying to keep myself out of that bottom position? Are you ready to get cracking? Yes, yes Chef! I like it. On my count. Three, two, one, let's go! It was beautiful with all these cuts of meat. I mean, you can pick and choose. It was just beef, beef and more beef. I cooked with mince. And to turn that into a tasty plate of food, it can definitely go both ways. Only five minutes remaining for that pantry run. I'm most comfortable with beef fillets. I want to bring chocolate and cauliflower and red meat together. The pantry is closed. Today I've chosen the oxtail. The main thing is the oxtail getting tender, but I will be cooking it with some, yeah. Potatoes, I'm not too sure yet, but probably a potato puree or something fried up with oxtail for texture. Quite a hearty meal. It needs a lot of time to cook. I've managed to get very tender oxtail in about two hours plus. I figured in the pressure cooker, hopefully, well, it should be tender. You know? Celine. 
Tell me what you're making. I am making my version of a South African take on beef wellington. I'm using apricots, um, rooibos, flavors like that. A very Cajun beef wellington. They usually you need quite a bit of time to bake that off properly. The way that I've been taught to do it is 20 minutes in the oven chef. Well, the trick is to get that pastry cooked through. Pastry cooked through, but still pink in the middle. Pink in the middle, there you are, right? Good yes, luck, chef. Celine. Thank Sounds you, very chef. good. Beef is the star of the dish. That's kind of scary because I really need to, to cook it perfectly if I want to be safe. I am going to try smoke a beef fillet with some robust tea and Earl Grey. I'm going to serve it with a puree of cauliflower with some dark chocolate and some turned veg. Either they could love the chocolate red meat combination or they could really not, so it's a risk. I love working with meat. The only challenge I'm faced with is that the beef I'm presented with is not a lot. And I can't taste any of my meat. Ozzy, yes, chef. tell me about the pickled tongue. I want to do a top and tail with the sirloin and uh, a tongue. I'm doing a root vegetable mash and uh, I'm doing a pickle that uh, Chef Chris Erasmus it's a take on this pickle. I hope it will work well with my tongue. I think it's a superb idea. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Thank you, Chef. Nice one. I'm not too worried about the pickled tongue because it was pre-cooked already and doesn't matter whether it's overcooked or undercooked. I'm going to make a burrowbos Chinese dumpling with a sort of a, a, a beef broth. Amanda, why have you chosen this dish? I'm inspired by, you know, the Thai um, food and so forth. So I'm just taking this chance today and hoping that it all sort of bind together and tastes good. Burrowbos with Thai flavors. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Thank you. Carry on. I've made different elements of this dish um, before. The broths I've made, the wontongs I've made, uh, but combining all these crazy things together, like the burrowbos and the spices, you know, that's something that I've never done before. Mm, tad bit salty still. I'm making a ravioli of curry stew, beef stew, with a pressed rusk. So there's quite a few processes and the time is limited. Contestants, we're 30 minutes into the challenge. 60 minutes remain. Make sure you put in all of those flavors. Today I'm going to think out of the box. I do not want to go traditional South African. I've done that quite a lot in the past and I have to stretch my boundaries today so I am going Spanish. Karen, what are you doing? I've never been to Spain but I love the taste of Spain and I've tried to incorporate my own take on chorizo because I didn't have that. Yeah. So I took the beef sausage and I put paprika, a little bit of rosemary, all the lovely spices I have in front of me. I'm making uh, potato bravas and I'm going to have uh, uh, aubergines as well, which is quite popular in Spain. They love the aubergines as well. Beef fillet. Have you done it before? Yes, I love it. It's a lovely cut. It just needs a grilling, but it needs to be tender and melt in your mouth. I love your confidence. I love Thank the you. risk that you're taking. Let's hope it pays off. Thank you so much. I'm very, very excited because I'm going to try and do different techniques and just give a good plate of food. Jason, Chef. tell me what you're making. Well, I'm doing a trio of beef, um, grilled beef fillet, deep fried um, tongue strips, um, a braised shin. You're braising that shin? Yeah. That's going to cook in the 50 minutes that you've got remaining? I'd like to hope so, yeah. That's quite ambitious. It's, it is uh, ambitious, yeah, and I just hope that, that it doesn't come back to, you know, to haunt me. <laughs> good luck, you better crack on, Jason, but good luck. This is Master Chef, so the greater the risk, the greater the reward. So just hoping that everything comes through today and I get all the elements in the place.